Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the WooCommerce video series. In this video, I'll show you how you can use a free plugin to customize the shop page in any WooCommerce website. So if you are using any premium theme or if you are using any free theme, you can use this free plugin to customize the shop page of your WooCommerce website. In the previous video, I have shown you how to use this free plugin to customize the single product page in your WooCommerce website. So this is the single product page that we created in the previous video and you can still customize it. You can change the layout and you can create a new layout according to your requirement. So now in this video, we are going to use the same plugin to customize the shop page of the WooCommerce website. So let's go to the dashboard and let me show you the plugin first. So this is the plugin that we are using product X Gutenberg WooCommerce blocks. In the previous video, I have shown you how to install this plugin. So in the left hand panel, you will see the option product X. Go to product X and click on WooCommerce Builder. So in the previous video, you can see that we created this layout, the single product layout. Now we want to customize the shop page. So here you will see the option shop. Click on it. If you want to use the pre-designed shop page, you can use their layout. However, for that, you will need a pro plugin. So we are not going to use the pro plugin. We will create it from the scratch. So click on it, start from scratch. Now here you can see that this free plugin is not letting me to create the shop page layout because it says in the free version, you can create only one template. It can be single product page or it can be shop page or it can be checkout, my account or cart page. So in order to use multiple layouts, you will need to go for the pro plugin. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to close this one and I'm going to delete the previous template. So let's go to all templates and let's delete this one. All right, now let me refresh it. The template is deleted. So now we are back to the original layout that I created using the Spectra one theme. Uh, this is the current shop page layout. You will see the shop page layout here and we are going to change this layout. So let's go back and let's go to shop and click on start from scratch. We do not have the single product page layout and we are going to use the shop page layout. So first we are going to use the column. So search for column. So we are using the Gutenberg blocks and this is the layout I want. In the right hand side, we are going to use product filter option. So here you can click on the plus sign and search for product filter. You will see this product filter an option, but it is not available for the free version. If I drag it and drop it here, it will ask you to upgrade to pro version. So we do not have that option here. So I'm going to delete this one search for product filter again. This is the pro version. However, we have the other WooCommerce blocks that we can use in this column. So I can filter by attributes. Then I can let's go again filter. Let's filter by price. Let's make it at the top. And I'm going to just this is the filter by price. All right, so we are going to leave it as it is for now. We will see how does this look. Now in this column, we are going to add the product grid. Click on the plus sign and search for product grid. And you will see these grids. If I click on it, you will see. If I move the cursor, you will see how the, deal, how the layout looks. So let's try using product grid three. Now, if you want to customize it, you can customize it from here. I want three columns and grid gap will be let's say 20 pixel row gap will be let's say 20 pixel you will see the changes here layout one if you want to change layout two so there are two layouts in this grid you will see category then price and then title if you change the layout you will see the title first then category and then price so this one looks good if you want to show the stock you can enable this one and below that we have product sort option which will help you sort the products if you want to choose specific products you can choose it or you can select recent view products so it will show recently viewed products 
so i'm going to delete that one advanced sort under advanced sort you have random product a random product 30 days so it will show the last 30 days products which are added the last 30 days now how many products do you want to show right now on this dummy website i have only four products however you can change the number of products that you want to show on this page so let's say i want to change it to 21 so 21 products will be shown on this page and after that you will see the page one page two page three the pagination at the bottom so the products after 21 will go to the next page you can sort by date title price ascending or descending stock status this is for the pro version and this is for the price you will see the price option here and you can change the color settings of the price you will see the color has been changed this is for the reviews if you have reviews it will show the reviews you can change the reviews short description is not added here so it will not show the short description this is for the sale if you have products on the sale it will show the badge here just like this the sale badge where do you want to show top right top left bottom left bottom right so this one looks good top left and if you have discount it will show the discount also this is the discount showing instead of only the text it will show the discount just like this so this one also looks good now this is the ribbon the ribbon is nothing but this one this is how it will look and you can change the background color just like this all right if i enable it it will show hot deals so right now it do not have it does not have it so it's not going to show if there is any deal it will show the deal also and add to cart you will see it here when i move the cursor you will see add to cart this is the image setting full image thumbnail medium so these are the basic customization settings if you want to add animation you can add animation you will see the animation now this is for the heading you will see the heading here so right now it shows the heading i can delete that one the title this is the title in h3 tag you can change the tag to h3 h4 h2 you can also change the color this is for the category you can change the color for the category now it shows enable link so when someone clicks on it it will go to that product page this is for the category if i click on category it will go to that particular category if you disable it it will not be clickable if i enable it this will be clickable now uh, we have filter option all filter so let's publish it and let's see how does this look and after that we will make changes click on publish now let's go to the shop page refresh it and you will see the new layout here so right now the filter option is not working so filter by price or filter option is not working here so let's delete this option and let's delete the column also we are not going to use this column and we are using only this new layout so click on update go back refresh it all right so you will see this layout in the single column so if i want to change the layout i can use the other layout so let's delete this one and try another layout let's search for product grid we used the third one so let's see product grid one updated and right now when i move the cursor you will see add to cart if i refresh it now you will see another layout we have add to cart button here now let's change this one delete this one and try the other one number two and this is how the second one will look updated 
refresh it and this is how it will look add to cart will be here at the bottom now let's delete this one and let's try the fourth one refresh it update it and let's refresh it and this is how it will look if i move the cursor you will see quick view and add to cart button you will also see the pricing here this is the sale if i click on quick view it will show the quick view of this product so this layout also looks good you can customize this layout you can change the settings from here and you can customize the layout according to your requirement so if you are using woocommerce in any free theme and if you do not see the option to customize the shop page then you can use this free plugin to customize the shop page in any woocommerce website that's it for now see you in the next video do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools if you have any questions please leave us message in comment section and press the like button if you like the video thanks for watching quick tips